Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos for school pupils and teachers across the UK. In this video I'm going to be looking at how the causes of climate change can be managed, mitigated. Now before we dive into this there's one word here we need to focus on first and that word is of course mitigated mitigation. Now in your exam the examiner could ask you a question about how climate change can be mitigated or it could be about how climate change can be adapted, how we can adapt to the effects of climate change. Now you need to be clear on those two words mitigation and adaption. Now mitigation is focusing on the long term strategies to prevent the large emissions of greenhouse gases. So what do we do in 20-30 years to slow that growth rate of greenhouse gases down? Okay and that's what we're going to look at today. But adaption is looking at how can we help people around the world which are already feeling the effects of climate change. For example, people that live in coastal areas which are becoming flooded, people that live in um, sub-Saharan Africa which are suffering from drought, desertification and crop failure. How do we help those people? Now I have got another video on adaption strategies. Do check it out, that will help you. But for today, for this video, we're going to look at how the effects of climate change can be mitigated. So, number one, here we go. Divide my board into four. Okay. So, first strategy is called carbon capture. Now, this is probably the most expensive of all of these methods. And essentially, what carbon capture does, I'm just going to draw my my factories, there's my factory, not great diagrams but you get the idea. Now as we know in the atmosphere we have carbon dioxide, you can't see it but I'm just going to put a few dots on to represent the carbon just floating around in our atmosphere. Now carbon capture is when the carbon in the atmosphere is pumped out of the atmosphere and it's pumped deep underground into the underlying rock. So there it goes, getting pumped deep underground, deep underground, deep underground. And that carbon is then stored in the rock. So there's all of our carbon there. And that's it. So carbon capture, take from the atmosphere, pump deep underground and store it underground. Number two. Guys, I'm interrupting your geography lesson for 60 seconds only. Stay with me, listen to me. You're probably watching this video now because you are studying at GCSE Geography. Am I right? Yes? Good. Now, are you struggling with your revision? Do you not know what to revise? Are you struggling with structure, with time management, with exam skill? If any of these things apply to you with your revision, help is at hand. Presenting a brand new, online tuition platform designed to help every school pupil towards exam success in their GCSE geography. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Genius Geography Guide. If you would like further details about this amazing online platform, click on the link below this video and all the details will be there. Now back to your video. So our second method is using alternative energy sources. For example, using wind turbines or using solar panels. So of course, both of these strategies using wind turbines, using solar panels, both of which generates electricity. So that 
prevents countries, especially with large populations and who are rapidly trying to grow economically, prevents them from using fossil fuels and burning them in industry, which of course produces gases like CO2. So this is a cleaner form of energy. The problem, however, this is not cheap. These are very expensive methods. So, you know, when you think about the countries that are probably emitting the large amounts of greenhouse gases through burning fossil fuels, you have to ask the question, can they finance this? Can they afford that? Let's go on to number three. So the third method is afforestation. So the planting of trees So of course, as we all know, trees, they take out the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, they give out oxygen. The more trees, the more carbon dioxide they can take out and the more oxygen they can give, which is why it's really important that we slow down the rate of deforestation. And the fourth one, number four. This is when the world that's my very badly drawn planet Earth, is when the world comes together. And this is all about international agreements, where governments from around the world, especially those governments that are producing the most carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, where they come together and they set targets to reduce their carbon levels by a set given point. And all of those countries, they all have a shared responsibility to each other to stand by those targets and achieve them together so everyone on planet Earth can feel the benefits. So let's just go through those four strategies again. So number one, carbon capture, take from the atmosphere, pump deep underground, very expensive to do so. Number two, use alternative energy sources, solar panels, wind turbines, using the sun's energy, the wind energy, to generate electricity, to move away from the burning of fossil fuels. Number three is the afforestation, the planting of trees, takes out the CO2, gives out oxygen. And number four is international agreements where the large world governments come together, they set targets to lower their carbon emissions. And that's it, the four strategies to mitigate climate change. Guys, I hope this video has been really useful for you all. If it has, please do give this video a like, add a positive comment down below, share this video, and please do subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.